was a boy in camp and the boy showed up to the camp and um, the boy immediately wanted to leave. Didn't want to come. He wanted to leave. And it became a whole a whole mess, we'll call it. You know, he wouldn't even go to the bunk and he would locked himself in a room and he wouldn't come out. And, you know, you can imagine, play out whatever details you want and they all happened and then some. And there was, a, there was an older counselor said, you know what? I'm going to try. And he goes in, he tries to talk to the kid and nothing and nothing and nothing. And he's talking and he's talking and he's talking. And then like, out of the blue, he like pulls out a Mishnayis. And I think, you want to learn a Mishnah? The kid's like, are you crazy? Let's learn a Mishnah. And he learned a Mishnah with the kid. It was, it, he, this guy told this to me personally afterwards. I, I thought he fell off his head. But he learned a Mishnah with the kid. And the Mishnah, the kid like, like, you know, learned a little bit with him. And then like, all of a sudden, like he opened up a little bit. It, it, was, it, was, it was fascinating. It doesn't really make any sense. Maybe, just maybe, these are the three steps that we're talking about. That you have this diamond and this person, he worked himself, then he tried to help him, didn't work. And he tried to turn the kid, and he tried to look for this angle and that angle, and he's playing this game, and he's talking to him about this. Nothing. He put a little bit of tire in there. In the most odd and random way, it's one o'clock in the morning, they spend three hours smoozing after locking himself in the room and not wanting to come out. Whole craziness. You drop a dot of tire in. And sometimes, all of a sudden, you, you walk away and you're like, oh, wow. It's a totally different person because you took that diamond and you brought it into a room and you put a little bit of light. And all of a sudden, now, it starts to shine.